Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. I'm the proud pastor of the New Horizons Church here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I get the privilege of not only praying for our church family, but praying for so many other people who are connected to our church through our new YouTube channel and through these daily devotionals. And so it's my privilege to be able to intercede for you and to encourage you to live life in the love of God. That's what we've been praying about for the past 29 days. We've come to the last two days of this daily devotional. And today is day number 30. And we're going to be reading a scripture from John chapter 15 and verse 9. John chapter 15 and verse 9 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. Amen. These are the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who says, As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. One of the things that we've been praying about all month long is that if you are feeling distant from God, if you're feeling like there's some separation between you and God, you're not as close to him as you used to be or as you would like to be, that you, in fact, through this prayer series, would be inspired, encouraged, instructed to return back to the Lord, to return back to your first love. But not only that, but to remain there. And that's what John chapter 15 and verse 9 is all about. Jesus is encouraging us to abide in his love. That's what that word abide means. It means to remain. It it means to be connected, to stay connected to God. And when we stay connected to God, we stay connected to his love. We stay connected to all of the things that he supplies to us. And when we live life connected to God, we live a life in the love of God. Amen. So I want to pray about that, those that need to return back to God, that this will be the next step in that journey for you. And for those who have already returned and you're there, that you would remain in the center of God's will and in the center of his love. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we honor you today. We bless and magnify your name. We declare that your name is great and it is greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same Lord God, Your name in all places and at all times is worthy to be praised. Lord, your children, your sons and daughters have gathered together in this season to lift up our voices and to pray unto you. Lord, for these past 29 days and today as well, we are desiring to live life in your love. Lord, we are so thankful, so grateful, so honored that you love us. You first love us, and now we have an opportunity to love you. And Lord, we thank you that There are those that during this prayer time and this prayer season have returned back to you. We give you praise for how close they've gotten to you. We give you praise for how much they have have made up their minds to be connected to you. And so we thank you for doing doing that and drawing them to you each and every day, drawing us closer to your cross, drawing us closer to Christ, drawing us closer to your calling, drawing us by your compassion. And Lord God, we thank you for Also, not only returning us back to you, but helping us to remain in you. Jesus, you said here in John chapter 15 and verse 9 that we ought to abide in you and abide in your love. Lord, let us not seek love in all the wrong places. For we've seen people, Lord, who've disappointed us, who said they would be there and are not, who said they would be committed and are not, who said they would be compassionate and their compassions have failed. But Lord, your compassions, your mercies fail not. They are new each and every morning. So Lord, help us to remain connected to you. Help us to remain and abide in you. Help us to remain close to you. Lord, that when the enemy tries to pull us away through temptation and lust and and different deceptions, Lord, let us not fall prey to his wily devices, Lord, but let us put upon the whole armor of God and be able to withstand against the wiles, the schemes, the strategies of the enemy that will love nothing more than to pull us apart from you. But we thank you that nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So Lord God, today I pray that you would give us the strength and the stamina to remain in you. Let us not wander outside of your boundaries Let us not wander outside of your will. Let us not wander outside of your commandments, Lord, but let us remain 
centered on the word of God, centered on your plan for our life, centered on your purposes that you have for us. Help us, Lord, to live lives in your love today. And we'll be careful to give you praise, to give you honor and to give you glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, we'll be back tomorrow to close out this daily devotional series of living life in the love of God. Today we read from John chapter 15 and verse 9. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. That's my word to somebody today. Abide in the love of Jesus. We'll be back tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.